Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. We are doing a haul. I recently picked up a couple new things and I wanted to share them with you. I did film a full face of new products, so I'm wearing a lot of these products that I'm going to share with you right now and I had previously filmed. I did that a couple hours ago and so now I am coming around to um, sharing you, with you what I purchased. So I did get a couple of new things that recently launched. So the Sephora Rouge members had first access to a few of the products that I'm going to show you. And then some of the other things were just products that I had been wanting to try, things that were on my radar, something that was kind of in the back of my mind um, for some time that I've been very curious about. And so I finally just said, you know, I'm just going to order it and try it and see what my thoughts are. And so I'm going to share with you guys those things. And then I'm also going to, you know, talk about some Sephora favorites kits that I purchased um, and what comes in those kits and like specifically why I ordered those kits. So I'm going to get into the makeup, so the fun stuff of um, what I recently purchased. So I'm going to start with the first product that kind of sort of jumped out at me on my little basket. It's the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow with SPF 40. I have it in the shade Fair and I use this for the first time today. And I honestly was kind of back and forth on this. I was kind of debating whether or not to get this one or the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Ended up getting the Charlotte one. I love it. I use it almost every single day. And if I don't use that just by itself, I find myself mixing it into other things and creating my own formula for the day, if you will. I just like the way it looks on my skin. And this was one that was kind of in the back of my mind wondering, you know, should I have purchased that one? Would that one have been better for my skin? And so I don't know, I just wanted to try it. So it kept bugging me. And so I figured, you know, I'm just going to order, I'm going to order it and try it. I used to use It Cosmetics years ago. Um, I remember it was either, I, I'm pretty sure it was before I was pregnant or maybe during my pregnancy with my daughter who is now three. I used to use the one in the silver tube and I had the shade light because at the time that was the lightest, if memory serves me right, that was available at the time. But now since then they've come out with different variations and they've expanded their color range which is great. And it allows more people to try the products and then you can find which one works for you. They have an oil free version that has like I think it's teal on the outside. They have this one that's glowy. They have so many other options that kind of you can find one that's going to suit your needs and um, lots of skin tone options to choose from. So fair seems to be working really well. I do my makeup in my bathroom and the light is a little bit more yellow there. And I'm trying to kind of work with my camera to find the right balance and with the Final Cut software that I use on my MacBook to find the balance so that it's a little bit more cooler because it is a little bit more warm. But now that I'm sitting in front of my big windows in my bedroom, I have my dresser behind me, I am able to see that it actually does match pretty well. I do have other complexion products that we'll get to in a moment on top, but for the most part, I do feel like this is a very good match. So the next two products were the Rouge First Access um, on the Sephora app and then it just became available the following day for everybody to purchase and the first one is the NARS cream bronzer this is in the Laguna 02 which says original in parentheses so this was something that came out if I'm not mistaken a while back and then they brought it back but now they've expanded the range so there's a shade that's lighter and then a couple shades that are a little bit darker and so I think the Laguna 2 is pretty good like it doesn't look too orange, it's not too yellow, and it doesn't look odd, and I, I feel like the formula is really great. Now, I've only used it once, so I will have to report back and continue using it, but it is a cream bronzer, and I use my fingers to pick up the product and just kind of dot it where I want the product instead of swirling my brush in here because this is a very pigmented product. And I feel like if I were to put my brush directly in that, I feel like I would probably pick up more than I need and I'll not only be wasting the product, but also be applying too much. And so I just like using my fingers to kind of place my liquid bronzers, my liquid highlighters, also my blushes that are liquid. I always kind of put them on the back of my hand and use that as a palette and then apply it. But the formula feels very kind of satiny, not too greasy. And when you blend it on your hand, if you're doing like a swatch, you will see the color and the pigment that it has, 
but then it almost has like a satin kind of natural finish. It's not super dewy, but it's not flat, matte, and chalky. It's not difficult to work with. It's actually very easy to use, and I like that. The other product that was a rouge access only for a day was the new cream highlighters from Rosy Ink, and I have the shade Opalescent, which is a soft pink shade. It's what's giving me this really pretty glow and dew to my skin. I absolutely love it. I have it on the, the high points of my cheek, down my nose. I had it on my Cupid's bow, but I did have lunch, so it kind of wore away a little bit. Have it um, around like the temples and also as my brow highlight, inner corner highlight. The formula is very creamy and very emollient, but it doesn't look too greasy. I love highlight. It's one of my favorite things, but I also don't want it to look like it's oil sitting on my skin. And I was kind of wondering, um, is it going to be too dewy just because, you know, cream highlights just based off of photos online or reading something online, you kind of don't know for sure how it's going to be. And I was just hoping that it wasn't going to be something that's too greasy, something that was just going to slip and slide and move around, something that was going to separate or not melt with what was underneath. And so I'm glad to report that so far I have not had any issues. Just used just a little bit today. You don't need a whole lot to actually make this show up. And it is pretty. It looks really nice on the skin. I have to readjust myself because I um, my leg is falling asleep. It's a one of my pregnancy things. Like I sit down on the floor and then a few minutes later my leg goes numb. So it is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Oh, I got one of the new blushes from Benefit in the shade Terra. And I got the mini size because I was looking for a bronzer product that was more kind of reddish, more deeper than what I normally would purchase for the summer, something with a little bit of a reddish undertone. But then I thought, I don't want to purchase a full-size bronzer for that because I'm only going to use just a tiny little bit because bronzer can be very pigmented, especially someone as fair as I am using something so kind of red-toned. I feel like it could be a little much but I found this one and I do think it's going to work. I did apply just a little bit of that on top of the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, but I also used it like on my cheeks just a little bit. This is very, very pigmented. As you can see, it has a definite kind of like a golden, like brick red color. So I think it's going to work for the purpose that I want it to. And I'm glad that it's in a mini size because I didn't want, again, a full size product. I like the cardboard packaging. They've had this packaging for a very long time. Um, and I just, it has a magnet, so it closes and it's great. I really like it and it blended out quite nicely and it is very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. And then I decided to put some of the Bare Minerals Blonzer in Kiss of Pink over the top. This is also something that I just used today for the very first time, and I chose Kiss of Pink because I felt like it was the lightest out of the three, and this is a product that was released before, and they brought it back. The previous release had a different packaging. This is your standard, the black packaging, like most of their, their compact products. But this one is a really pretty, like, soft pink with a touch of sheen to it where it gives the skin a beautiful, healthy glow without super sheen shiny shimmer on the on the cheeks because I don't mind using a dewy kind of radiant blush but I also have my moments where I would prefer a matte blush in fact most of my blushes are matte whether it's a powder or a cream and then I like to add the shimmer if I feel like that's the vibe that I'm, I'm wanting for the day so this one gives a really pretty like healthy sheen on the skin without it being too dewy without it being too harsh without it being too difficult honestly it's just like a really nice blush that you can use on its own but I use it today as a topper over the benefit one and I actually do think that the two of them really complement each other very nicely and I do like the formula I've been a fan of bare minerals for years then I also picked up the new concealer or these are the what are these called it's so small the writing on the bottom it's the hydra beam concealer brightening concealer from say I have HB1 and it's a I would say it's like a light pink tint to it 
I like the fact that it's not too, too pink, like the Fenty one that I have. That one is a very obvious pink brightener in rose quartz, and I love that. I'm not knocking that whatsoever because I use it all the time, but that one's much more pink. My Charlotte one is more peach, and this is kind of one of those products and the tone. It's kind of different from what I had before in my collection, so I have this just this underneath my eyes, um, and I think it worked really great as far as giving me coverage and also looking soft light and just for every day i wouldn't say this is full coverage by any means if you like full coverage i would say use this as a brightener step first then your concealer or even skip it all together because if you want something that it's just one product to give you full coverage right off the bat this is just not it however i do like the fact that it has some skincare benefits in it so that's a big bonus for me personally something that just gets me more intrigued i got two more cream sticks i have been wanting to expand my collection of cream eyeshadows i'm a huge fan of one shadow looks if you've been watching my videos for years now you probably already know that i just love the ease of doing one eyeshadow and making it look like you took more than five minutes more than actually it doesn't take five minutes it's like two minutes really um finding colors that look different on the lid than they do when you blend them in the crease but it's the same exact product and it's something that i personally love especially in the summer months i absolutely love doing one shadow looks when i go on trips weekend trips vacations because i want to get my makeup done and out the door as quick as possible and i feel like the best way to make the most impact is to use a cream eyeshadow for me personally i choose colors that lean towards like the smoky kind of taupey colors or bronze because I feel like that gives me the depth and dimension on the lid and in the crease but it also adds it packs a punch around the eyes it's not just using a light champagne and then mascara I want something a little bit deeper but not something super smoky because I don't want to do a smoky eye to go to the beach you know what I mean or to go to the amusement park or to go to the you know the pool it's like you want to put your makeup on, but you also don't want, I don't know, I'm just kind of weird about <laughs> not saying that going to the pool or those water parks or whatever with a full face of makeup is a bad thing. Who cares? Do whatever you want to do. But for me personally, I just, I don't, I just don't see that for myself um, just because I'm trying to get out the door and get to where I'm headed. And anyways, I got two more. The first one is the Bobbi Brown um long wear cream eyeshadow stick in golden bronze this has been on my radar for a very long time i have dusty mauve and when i purchased that over a year ago i felt like i should have just bought this at the same time and just been done with it let me tell you these are no joke seriously creamy pigmented easy to blend but once you're done blending it will stay there for the entire time until you take it off and case in point i've had this swatch of the golden bronze on my hand for hours. I have made lunch. I have chased after little ones. I have done dishes and it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> it is like stuck. I have to actually get like an oil-based makeup remover to remove this. So if you're looking for something that stays on and doesn't smudge or run off or flake off, this is where it's at. Now also, picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Amber Haze, which this one is made for um, brown eyes. And this one is more bronzy. And if I show you the two together, this one here, it looks a little bit more bronzy and just a little bit more kind of coppery, like a touch of copper undertone. And then the golden bronze looks a little bit more on the cooler side. But if I didn't do this one from Charlotte next to it, the one from Bobbi Brown would definitely look like a typical bronze eyeshadow that isn't too orange, too brown, and it's not, you know, it's not too, um, like, antique looking. It's like a true bronze shade, and I do really like it. The Charlotte one is a little bit more on the warmer side. It's what I'm wearing today, and I was applying this in my tutorial, and I started talking and I paused. And when I went to blend, I was like, oh, man, like, it doesn't want to blend. Like, am I going to make this work or is this going to be one of those where I have to take it off and start over? I managed to make it work. Moral of the story is 
work one eye at a time, apply and blend quickly because these set very, very fast. And it was the easiest thing to take this all over the lid, blend it into the crease, take it and swipe it under the lower lash line, done. It could not be any easier. Um, and so I really don't have an excuse not to get myself ready when I have these types of products in my collection because they truly make getting ready super easy. So the next thing that I'm wearing around my eyes today um, is the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. Let me tell you, it has been probably six months, maybe longer, that I have used a liquid liner. I am one to use pencils and smudge them, create like a smoky look. Or my number one choice is using a dark matte brown eyeshadow, a matte black, or mixing black and brown together and using that with an angled brush, a detail brush, and kind of creating a smoky look where it's soft, diffused, but it definitely accentuates my lash line. It's easy, it's quick, it's part of my go-to. You know, I'm juggling a one-year-old and a three-year-old trying to get into my makeup and stuff, so that's the easiest thing. This is not. <laughs> this is not something that I would do if I had a one-year-old clinging to my leg because I feel like my skill level is just not quite there, <laughs> okay? This product, though, however, is... I was not expecting the level of pigment that came from this. This is a very intense black. It's a beautiful formula. It glides on so easily. And I feel like for someone who, I'm gonna say I'm back to being a beginner in liquid liner because it's been so long. I feel like this is a good place for me to start. It is a brush tip, which I like. I used to love the Kat Von D or the KVD, whatever it's called now. Um, tattoo liner and trooper that was like my go-to and I can I bet you I will go and purchase it and it'll still be like The best thing since sliced bread as far as liquid liner is concerned because it was so easy to use so pigmented And it didn't budge it didn't feather it didn't flake off It was such a good formula. This is just like that, but this is much more intense I feel like from what I remember the KVD one this one is such a rich formula and I kind of felt a little odd when I first applied it this morning because it's been so long and this is so dark but it actually looks really beautiful and I enjoy the way this looked so I'm gonna report back the more I use it but I do feel like this is really cool and my kids are like eyeing this and they're like oh mommy what's that marker I'm like mm -mm, don't touch it <laughs> that's, not, that's not a marker that's makeup okay <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so some other things. I had gotten a set from Sephora. I got, actually got two sets. And one of them was like the Sephora Favorites Luxe. It's like 25 bucks. The cloud just came over the sun, so the color might change a bit here. Um, it was the Luxe kit that had all these high-end um, products in it. So one of them is the La Mer, the soft cream. So I'm excited to have a small size of that. I mean, that's a pretty good size. To try it's a very expensive very super luxurious brand and that was part of the kit and it was $25 and I wanted to try some specific things it was like a fragrance um, the flower bomb I think it's what it's called and I have it in my bathroom I should have just grabbed it and it smells really nice so I'm excited to use that some more it also came with the YSL glow and balm um, I think this is a primer or is this just I'm not sure what this is, but it says Glow and Balm, and it's like a small little um, tube like that. It came with a YSL mascara as well. The Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas, was also one of the products in there. And this is one of the things that kind of led me to try it because I wanted to try this one. I used the silk canvas in like the balm form many, many years ago, and I actually do enjoy that, but I wanted to try this new version, which is a liquid, and the small travel size of this was the same price as this kit, and so I thought, yes, it's smaller in size, however, I get to try that plus some for the same price, so I figured, why not? And so I'm looking at my phone, the Sephora Favorites Luxe, the coveted collection is $25, and it also came with a hair product, so that is the other thing that's underneath my sink. I have it with some hair products. I did grab some other ones, um, that I ordered, and I'll show you those. I um, I also picked up the Living Proof, the Flex Hairspray. 
And this one, it says medium hold since um, I have a trip coming up and I wanted to take like smaller travel size. So I got that one to try. I have not tried this specific hairspray. And then I got the Bumble and Bumble uh, Dry Spun Texture Spray. So I got both of those to take with me on our trip. And I feel like these are good sizes, 1.5 ounces. And then this is a three ounce size hairspray, which would definitely last me well over the week. Um, of our trip, but I did want to try this formula and see how it holds. I have the Moroccan oil hairspray, which I use on myself, and I put it in my daughter's hair when we go out because she's got really fine, like baby hairs growing, and they're just at a at an awkward length where they kind of hit right there, almost like bangs. So I have to like dampen her hair and pull it back into a ponytail or put it in a braid, a French braid or whatever. And then I like to hit it with a little bit of hairspray to keep it because she's got curly hair. And so I feel like if you don't style curly hair in general, it can look poofy, it can look thicker. And my sister has curly hair, like ringlets, really beautiful hair. And she has to put product in it. If she's gonna wear her hair in its natural state, then it has to have product. Otherwise, it gets frizzy, it gets thicker, more poofy, and so I see that in my daughter. She's got a few pieces that are straight, but for the most part, she's got these beautiful curls. This other kit that came with the Moroccan, um, it's like a styling cream in it, and it's actually a good size. I want to say it's like three ounces. I have to check my phone, but it came with that and a body lotion as well from Summer Friday, and so I figured why not try that kit. All right, so the Vacay All Day set that came with that Moroccan cream that I use, that I have for my daughter in the Summer Fridays lotion, that's a body lotion, also came the Blue Light Mist from Ilia, a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This I'm excited for, the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops in Medium. I think I'm going to use these tonight. I'm going to mix it into my moisturizer and see if I wake up a little bit more glowy and more bronze <laughs> in the morning. Um, a Supergoop sunscreen. I use the glow screen from Supergoop and it's very good and I love it. This is actually a great size, especially for travel. Good, good size here. Um, let's see. The glow recipe, the niacinamide watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops also came in that kit. The Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I used to use their niacinamide serum, which I really like. They're very affordable for skincare. Very good from the ones that I've tried, so I'm excited about this one. It also came with two full-size products, and I think these are the last of it in that kit. It came like a little blue mesh bag. So it came with a full-size Tarte C Surfer Curl Mascara, which I've never tried, and a Tower 28 Jelly Lip Jelly Gloss in the shade Coconut, which is really pretty. It's like a nice milky pink color which I think would be perfect for summer um so I'm excited um to try those and use those things I love purchasing Sephora favorites if you haven't tried one of the favorite sets it's a great place to try different brands to expand um your collection in and specifically this one like the VK all day has a lot of good things in it that I've been wanting to try but I also know that purchasing it full size, if I don't like it, it's just going to sit there and it's going to collect dust. It's going to take up space under my sink. It's also, whoa, it got really bright in here. Um, it's also going to be a waste of money if I don't like it. So I'm glad that I purchased these kits and I do try to grab them whenever they come out on the Sephora app because I do enjoy trying different makeup and incorporate different things in my routine. The sun is starting to shine and so now it's getting really bright. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, and we can be friends there. I always have it up on the screen, so check it out, and have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.